You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. All right, everybody, this is episode 120 of the WBNL podcast. Today, I am talking about the Virgil Agent Toolkit. If you've been following us here on the podcast, we really were inspired. Gosh, what was that? Almost two months ago? Yeah, it has well, yeah, it was, Mar- it was March yeah, 30th, yeah, 30th, exactly. March yeah, 30th right. and 31st, almost two months ago, when things really started happening for most states starting the lockdown process or the quarantine or the stay at home. It was stay at home for Nevada. And we were inspired to launch a 30 day challenge. And so you can listen to some of that content and things that we chatted about. And that's kind of moved us to this new normal. And I wanna take you through the virtual agent toolkit. And then Matt and I are just gonna get into a discussion about how this has morphed into uh, priorities and just taking a look at what is important and inspiration and manifesting our new normal, right? So, but I don't wanna get away from some really good content for you. That, and then we're going to be able to tell you how we can help you with this if you're not, if you weren't part of our 129 folks that w- came on the journey with us for the 30 day challenge, because you'll always have access to all of that content. Um, if you're interested in learning more about what the heck we're talking about, you know what? Just drop a comment, reach out to Matt or myself. You could just go to the podcast. You could easy ways to get in touch with us. Uh, just Google me, Google Matt. You can find us if you really want to. Yeah. All right, but let's get into what I mean by the virtual agent toolkit. So one of the things that we did at the end of this challenge was we had so much great top content for 30 days. It was basically 31, 33 pieces of content. That's right. And from that, we we crafted together a master checklist. Is if you went through this course and you did everything that you needed to do. Here is everything you need to do in a neat, because I'm very much into systems and checklists. Here's what it is you need to do to master everything. So that is what I mean by the virtual, the first part of this checklist was the virtual agent toolkit. So I'm just gonna go through what these things are. And there are so many other things that could be in your toolkit, but what we're deciding to do now is just share really exactly what I'm doing with my team, uh, David Squire, who you've had us, who's been on the podcast with us, who is, who is partnering up with us on on uh, some other ventures here, and and some other things we'll be announcing with WBNL Coaching. He and I are coaching together to help each other be accountable to the way we run our teams, which is super exciting. Which only means we fine tune the systems and the ideas and the things that we share here on the podcast. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground, walking the talk. And so what I am sharing with you today are the things that I'm personally doing and I am coaching my agents to do within my team. And anybody that's coaching with me, it's the same the same things. Now, some of the things may pop in and out, and I'll get to that in a minute, meaning the brand or the thing that you use. But I just want to list the, the items today. And these are all over in the show notes at episode 120. And a lot more information that that you'll be able to get about um, what's coming and getting on our interest list for some future launches of some programs. Number one, you have to have an IDX website. you got to get people off of Zillow and other places because that's what they're searching. People like to search. So you must, must, must have a website that allows people to search for all the listings in your area. You must have a client relationship management system, a CRM. Uh, you just have to. That is the the foundation of your business. That is what's going to help you do the heavy lifting. It's like having a virtual agent. This is the virtual agent toolkit. It's like having a virtual assistant is what I meant to say. Huh. <clears throat> you have to have a home value report system. That's either built into your CRM. There's many other ways to get it. I'm not going to get into where you get those, how you do it. Um, that'll be all stuff for later. That stuff we cover in our training and our courses. Um, but you must have that. People want to know what the value of their house is. Uh, I'll throw one out that you can get nationally, epropertywatch.com. I'm a fan, okay? Yeah. You have to have a personalized uh, home search app that you can use on your mobile phone. It's your your local real estate association, your company may have one, your CRM may have one. If you're going to sell new homes, you have to have some type of database that lets people have a database of looking for new homes. In your area, they probably have it. If you're going to be a virtual agent, you have got to have a Zoom account. Wouldn't you say, Matt? 
Absolutely. No All right. about it. We Anyone who knows what Zoom is has been living under a rock for the now, last few uh, days. Okay, it's Zoom, but whatever whatever or it is. Google, I, or, or, yeah, Microsoft Meets or uh, Google, Google Meets. Yeah, Google no, Meets. Microsoft Meet. Teams, yeah. I mean, well, here's the deal. You probably need to be a master at numerous versions of video conferencing because your client might be needing to use Skype or this or that. You'll have your go-to. As a matter of fact, here at our at the podcast, we just got rid of Be Live TV. We got rid of something I've used for years for coaching. Join me because I'm with Zoom. Why do I need three video conferencing software systems and 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 being able to do one-on-one -on -one coaching? So Zoom, you got to be a master at Zoom and any other video conferencing. You got to have a Canva.com account or you have to have a marketing person. You have to have a graphics person that, right. that, that will do all that stuff for you. Uh, along the lines of social media, I think must have Facebook business page, mainly so you can run advertisement, to be quite honest. And then Instagram. Okay, I am working very hard because my partner on my team, Cosmo Marabi, if you're listening, is doing his best to turn me into an Instagram <laughs> influencer in real estate it is work people right now as we're talking i've got my video going on over here so i can get some of that behind the scenes stuff you'll be happy with that mr cosmo but this is cool stuff and it's real real world and it's the type of stuff that's out there and it's how you make a difference and how you stand out in today's market so you got to be comfortable doing stories on instagram or not you know, it, it's okay. You know, but I do believe if you really want to be happening in the world, you don't have to be on every platform. TikTok, no. Snapchat, no. I, I'm just saying Facebook for advertising, Instagram, because that's where people are. And moving on, uh, you need a YouTube channel if you're going to do video, which you should. Online profiles, got to have a Zillow profile, got to have a Realtor.com profile, and you need it to be complete. And you need to have client reviews on those things. I also feel you need a LinkedIn profile and it needs to be all-star Mac daddy profiled out. Um, also love breakthrough broker. Uh, breakthrough broker is a free resource out there that you can get some great. I mean, I'm just, look, I'm jumping back into doing real estate um, with my team and I am putting into place all the things I'm always talking about. I'm walking my talk and I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm telling you right now, my mantra and our mantra moving forward for coaching is simplify. Less is more, do more with less. That's Do right. more with less, but pick the best tools for your toolkit. Don't be turning. Every time somebody turns around and go, here's a new shiny penny. Here's a new thing that people are calling you all the time. Here's the latest and greatest. Forget it. I'm telling you what it is that you need and you need these things. Now, there's two that you can add that will cost you an upgrade. Um, and, and that is to have keeping current matters. I love this. I'm using it all the time for the latest stats and social graphics, and I'm paying for it because it's adding to my social media and it's giving me some additional stuff on top of the videos and the things that I'm doing. And last, huge fan, bomb bomb video. I think video is it. You could find another solution for video if you don't want to have a whole another way, but that could be your email marketing system where you're using video. I love the app. I love everything about bomb bomb video that uh, is a way to touch people. So that right there, folks, is the toolkit these this is the systems or the tools or the apps that you have to have number one number two you must use okay oh that and, and number three you know use often and really be a master of it okay so we'll be doing more in upcoming podcast on uh bits on the virtual agent tool uh, how to be how to be the virtual agent but i wanted to share those tools with you today you can get that list, that little checklist for you is over in the show notes today, uh, episode 120, wbnlpodcast.com.